Hi friends, Mr. Ben here. Today I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories, Dora's Eggs. This is our friend Dora and all her wonderful eggs. We can see the picture here. There we go. Dora was sitting on a nest of eggs. They were shiny, brown, and smooth to touch. They are my very first eggs, clucked Dora proudly. I must get all my friends to come and admire them. Dora climbed out of the hen house and into the farmyard. Who shall I visit first, she wondered. I know, I'll go find Debbie Duck. Dora hopped over the fence and across the field until she reached the pond. Hello, Debbie, she called. Would you like to come see my eggs? I can't come now, quacked Debbie. I'm teaching my babies to swim. Dora stood watching the ducklings splashing around and learning to paddle. Somehow, she felt a little bit less excited. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those fluffy ducklings are so much nicer. Dora was just a little sad as she trotted over to the thigh to visit Penny Pig. Hello, Penny, she clucked. Would you like to come and see my eggs? But Penny didn't hear. She was having too much fun tumbling around with her wiggly piglets. Dora gave a little sigh. <sighs> My eggs are nice, she thought, but those wiggly piglets are much nicer. Dora gave another little sigh as she climbed to the hill to find Sally's sheep. Would you like to come and see my eggs, she asked Sally. Not today, bleated Sally. I'm too busy keeping an eye on my little lambs. Dora looked at the lambs frolicking in the field. She was rather glum. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those playful lambs are much nicer. Very sadly, Dora walked back into the farmyard. On her way, she bumped into Daisy Dog. Hello, Daisy, clucked Dora. Would you like to come and see my eggs? Sorry, Dora, barked Daisy, wagging her tail. I can't come now. I'm taking my puppies for a walk. Dora was beginning to feel quite miserable. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those cute puppies out for a walk are so much nicer. In the farmyard, Dora stopped at the cow shed. She wished she felt happier. Perhaps Clarissa the cow would cheer her up. Would you like to come and see my eggs, she called. Shh, mooed Clarissa, softly nodding at the straw. Snuggled up by her feet was her newborn calf, fast asleep. Dora wanted to cry. My eggs are nice, she whispered, but that little calf snuggled up is so much nicer. Do you think Dora's very happy right now? No, she's really sad. Dora walked back across the yard and into the sunlight climbed into her hen house. Her eggs were just as she had left them, smooth and brown and very still. My eggs are nice, sighed Dora, fluffing on out her feathers, but everyone else's babies are so much nicer. Very sadly, Dora settled herself down onto her nest and then crack. Dora jumped up in surprise. Oh no, cried Dora, I've broken them. Tears began to roll down her face. They splashed onto the nest and over the cracked eggs. As each tear fell, the cracks grew wider and wider until suddenly, can you guess what happens next? <gasps> Up popped a fluffy head, and then another, and then another. Soon the nest was full of tiny chicks. Cheep, 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 the chicks peeped. Cheep, cheep. Dora stopped crying and stared at her babies. It didn't matter that the eggs were broken. The new chicks were everything Dora had ever wanted. Proudly, she strutted out into the farmyard and one by one, her chicks followed after her. All the animals stopped and looked. So is Dora happy now? 
Yes, she is. Why, Dora, quacked Debbie. They're as fluffy as my ducklings. And wiggly like my piglets, winked Penny. They're as playful as lambs, bawled Sally. And you can take them for walks, just like my puppies, barked Daisy. But best of all, mooed Clarissa, your chicks can snuggle up to you like my calf snuggles up to me. Cluck, said Dora happily, agreeing with all her friends. My eggs were nice, but my chicks are much, much nicer. The end. Hi everybody, Mr. Ben here, and I would like to show you a couple of fun activities that you can do after reading the story, Dora's Eggs. Our first activity is a math activity called, How Many Eggs? What you need is, a card, is an egg card, and you want 10 slots in the egg card. And then we have all of our animal friends from the story, Dora's Eggs, here to help us count them. Here we have Clarissa Cow. What number is that? One. So using some Easter eggs, you can use that to count and place that many eggs into the cart. So Clarissa Cow has the number one, so we would put one egg. And then you would take that egg out and pick another animal, such as Penny Pig, who has the number four. And then we can count and put four eggs. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And we have it for all the characters. Debbie Duck, Sally Sheep, and Daisy Dog. And they all go one through five. Once your child gets good with doing one through five, then you can also use the second set, which has the same characters, but with different numbers. And that's our math activity. Our next activity is called egg rhymes. So we have these eggs here that are cut out and each egg is cut into half and they have two pictures on them and they rhyme such as boat and goat and they match up perfectly. We have rhymes for hook, whoop, I'm sorry, hook and book and you can rearrange them with your child to match them up. For example, here, tree. Which rhymes with tree? Log or bee? Bee, exactly. And they line up and match perfectly. So that way the child can check to make sure they got the right answer. If you would like any of these materials that I've shown you here, follow the description below and it'll show you where to find them. I hope you guys enjoy.